the 2L 102 by 102 by 9.5 angles shown are connected by E70XX fillet welds to a 16 millimeter thick gasset plate. The angles and gasket plate are fabricated from A36 steel. The applied load is concentric with the weld group. Based on dimensional requirements, which of the following most nearly gives the maximum size of the fillet weld allowed? Maximum size, ayan. Ito, in table 2. So, ngayon, nakabase yung size ng weld sa thickness ng thicker part joint. Okay, so, tignan nga natin yung figure. So, alin ba ang mas makapal? Ang thickness ng gasset plate is 16. And then, yung thickness ng angle is based dun sa pangalan ng angle. Ayan, ito yung kanyang thickness, no? 9.5. So, 16 versus 9.5. Mas makapal yung 16. So, yun yung pagbabasihan natin. Kasi, sabi yun, ayan, no? Thicker part joint. Nakabase siya sa thicker part joint. Ayan. Sige. So, mas makapal is yung gasset plate. So, 16. Kapag daw less than 6 ang thickness, ito daw. And then, kapag greater than 6, ito ang formula for the maximum size of a label. So, since greater than 6, ang formula natin for maximum size is T minus 2. So, that is T minus 2. 16 minus 2, that is 14 millimeter. So, yan ang maximum size ng weld allowed. So, pag lumagpas dyan, hindi pwede. So, that is letter B. Next. Based on the dimensional requirements, which of the following most nearly gives the minimum size of the fillet weld allowed? Oh, minimum naman. Kapag minimum, so dito naman tayo titingin. Kapag minimum, nakabase naman siya. Material thickness of thinner part joint. So nakabase naman siya sa mas manipis na part. Kung ang mas makapal is yung gasset plate na 16. So syempre, yung isa yun na yung mas manipis. No? So, ang thickness nun is 9.5. So depending on the thickness of the material, meron ng naka-assign na size na well. So, kung 9.5 ang thickness ng angle, so alin siya dyan sa apat na yan? So, in between siya na 6 and 13. So, therefore, the corresponding minimum size is 5. Minimum size is 5 millimeters. Okay? Yung kanina, max yan. And that is letter A. Next. Which of the following most nearly gives the allowable value of P based on the weld strength? Okay, so based on the weld strength, let us compare first yung weld strength versus the base metal strength. Sige. So weld strength muna. Although ang sinabi lang is weld strength, lagi siyang compare sa base metal strength. Okay? So for weld strength, we have R sub N equals 289.8. Nakumpit na natin to actually kanina eh, di ba? Times rho thickness na 0.707 ng 6.35 times 1. Allowable value ulit, so ibig sabihin naka ASD. So di-divide natin yan ng factor of safety. So this is 650.521. A05. Then, for the base metal. Okay, so be careful lang sa base metal strength. Di ba nakabase ito sa thickness ng mga nakakabit na member. So, nakakabit siya sa gasset plate, pati sa angle. Okay, so, unahin muna natin base dun sa gasset plate. Fair yielding ng gasset plate. 0.6 FY AGB. So, 0 0.6 FY is 248. And then, ang gross area is based lang sa thickness na 16. Tapos, times natin ng unit line. This is 2380.8. So, Rn divided by the factor of safety, that is 2380.8 over 2. This is 
newton per millimeter and then shear rupture that is r sub n equals 0.6 f sub u a and b 0.6 f sub u 16 times 1 So this is 3840 newton per millimeter. We have a correction. Mali ito. 1.5 ang factor of safety natin for shear yielding. 1587.2. To get the allowable strength for shear rupture, we divide it by the factor of safety. 3840 divided by 2. That is 1920 newton per millimeter so next naman is yung sa angle naman no? r sub n equals 0 0.6 0 0.6 fy agv 0 0.6 248 agv is 9.5 times 1 0 0.6 times 248 times 9.5 so 1413 0.6 so divide natin ang factor of safety for yielding over 1.5. This is 942.4 newton per millimeter. Next is shear rupture. R sub n equals 0.6 fu anv. That is 0.6 400 times 9.5 times 1. So Rn for shear rupture is 2 to 80 newton per millimeter. And then compute the allowable. So we divide the nominal by the factor of safety for shear rupture, which is 2. So this becomes 1140 newton per millimeter. Okay. Let us compare all the limit states para makapag-decide tayo ng well strike. Shear yielding versus shear rupture ng angle. So, ang, ang mag-govern dito is 942. 1920 versus 1587. So, ito yung mag-govern dyan. Then, versus weld strength. Compare natin yung tatlo. 650 versus 15 versus 942. So, ang pinakamababa is 650. So, we can now compute for the allowable value of P based on the well strength. So, ito kasi, strength ito per unit of length. So, kukumpitin na natin yung well strength. Based dun sa code natin, kapag ang fillet welds down natin is fillet weld group, meaning consisting of elements with a uniform leg size that are both oriented both longitudinally and transversely to the direction of the loop, the combined strength is ito. No? So, ito yung magiging formula ng combined strength based on welds kapag daw longitudinal at transverse. Manggagaling yung Rn natin sa dalawa, we have R sub N longitudinal plus R sub N transverse. And then yung isa is R sub N 0.85 ng longitudinal plus 1.5 ng transverse. So, kung alin daw yung mas mataas dyan sa dalawa, yun yung magiging strength natin for the welds. Let's confirm first kung ano yung ating beta based dun sa problem. So, to compute for the beta, bakit ba natin kailangan ng beta? Kasi kailangan natin ng L sub E, di ba? Kapag magko-compute ng, ng length ng welds or ng effective length ng welds. So, magkaiba yung length natin. Unahin muna natin yung longitudinal, yung 152.4. So, compute natin yung ratio ng L over W. This is 152.4. Ang weld size natin is 6.35. So, ilan ang magiging ratio? 24, no? So, this is less than 100. Therefore, the beta is 1.0 for the longitudinal weld. So, this is for the longitudinal welds. For the transverse welds, we will continue in the next video.